The over 30 farmers led by John Moisa say the mediation efforts should focus on ensuring that the farmers are compensated for their lost land, crops that were destroyed as Bidco graded their gardens and for the time that Bidco has been using their land. <laughs> Neta kaliba tu gambo kutuwa teliri yo, teliri yo kubanga chona wagwao, ata yunevitunde vye nieno, kumpi misani. Wadi ya bantu yona. Kati ono dile chibanja cha mkulu misa chona baachi tuwala. Ata katunduke ya sika za waka tono kagabile kumula. Bidko's representative, Seruma Gaboaz, has told court that the alleged farmer's land that Bidko took over had no productive venture, adding that majority of them were burning charcoal. Serumaga argues that the plea by the farmers appears to be impractical. To me, it is a very good deal to, the, to, to our people, the tenants, because these are people who had no any legal document making them to occupy on the, what? On the land. But this is a scenario when they have come up and with a voice and the way I'm, the landlord has also got a positive response to hear their voice. But to avoid all these encumbrances, let me give them. But this claim was ruled out by the farmers because Bidco could not compensate for what never existed. The farmer's lawyer, Mulindwa Ian, says he is to consult with his clients on the Bidco offer vis-a-vis -vis what they have lost since their land was graded by Bidco. Parties are, are entitled to a want. You as a lawyer, even if you want, uh, you, you prefer something, it's just your duty to, to bring it to them that this maybe would be a good, a good offer or it's a, a wanting offer. But ultimately, it's the party that decides that uh, I want this or I'm good with this. So we, I, we cannot just uh, force them to accept an offer that they don't like. The Masaka High Court Registrar, Julia Lucy Achio, who was the chief mediator for the session, had asked the farmers to take on the offer, but she was shocked to learn later that the majority of the claimants were old people who had stayed on the land in question for over 60 years. She later took on the objection by the farmers and asked Bidiko to make fresh consultations and come up with an appropriate compensation package for the farmers. The land in question is over 18,000 acres allegedly grabbed by Bidiko to develop a palm oil plantation in Kalangala. This land allegedly belongs to one Slivia Nakato, the landlord who is alleged to have sold it to Bidko without taking into consideration the compensation of the residents who are occupying the said land. Over 1,000 residents petitioned court challenging their eviction to pave way for the growing of palm oil. Court adjourned the mediation session to the 18th of December when the parties are expected to have a general consensus on the raised queries.